different friend the petition officer a lot see petitioner is before your uh, lordships the questioning the order dated 13 8 passed on ia number 10 granting interim custody of the minor child master ahan to the respondent miss what has happened please your honors um, lords is that a, a petition for divorce was filed by the petitioner where is in the impugned order impugned order my lords is annexed chair e here is a case where the matter was closed by compromise <laughs> My Lord, my kindly see, on 30th of November 2020, the parties entered into a compromise before the... What is the date of compromise? 30th of November 2020, my Lord. That compromise is at annexure A. Page 38. 38. Page 38. Hmm. Page 38. In this compromise, they agree that their marriage will be dissolved. Permanent alimony of uh, some money is given. Two other cases filed by the wife, GNWC and criminal miscellaneous are agreed to be withdrawn. There are two minor children. At that time, the boy is aged 11. The girl is aged 8. They agree for joint custody. And the term that, uh, my lords may kindly see uh, page 39, please, my lady. Yes. Clause 9. The parties have agreed that both of them shall continue as guardians and joint custodians of the two minor children. The children will live with the petitioner father for 15 days and with the respondent mother for 15 days every month. Financial arrangements are that both of them will jointly share. Oh, a compromise decree is passed. Is passed, Where is that? That that is this only. Continuation of this matter. Hmm. Page forty four onwards. This is passed when. Same thirtieth of it is dated thirtieth of November two thousand twenty, my lady. Then what happened? Then what happens, my lady? This arrangement continues quite well. Then in around June two thousand twenty two, some difference of opinion between uh, the petitioner and respondent. The uh, uh, when the children are with the mother. They are not sent to the uh, father's house for some time. Then this happens again in February of 2023. For two, two and a half months, the children are not sent to the uh, father. And uh, this boy, uh, he he has uh, autism. Another boy and a girl. Boy and a girl. What is the age? As it, of now? now the boy is 15 years old. The girl is 12. Hmm. Now this, what happens is, my lord, uh, that uh, in around February, when both the children are with the mother, the children are not sent to the father in accordance with this compromise. This has happened pr pr once before also. The boy uh, suffers from uh, an autism spectrum disorder, which is a borderline case. It is not that it is a severe case, but he has some impairment. He has some learning disability. And uh, yeah, there is a report that I will take my lady to, that there is some uh, uh, understanding of some educational concepts is though which requires training and treatment is what this plastic society has said. So when uh, then when he is not sent, he he's, he is completely cut off from the father and father's family. Father's parents live with him. Subsequent to this divorce, father marries again. That lady has a 13-year-old child who lives together. So both these children and that child have gelled well. And while in this February and March of 2020... Mother is not remarried. Well, Mother, mother has not married again. No, no, mother is not. She had another relationship with another person who was living in. That relationship broke away. But nonetheless, I have no dispute or qualms with that. In fact, I have stated or not to say that over a period of time, I, I became comfortable with that gentleman and he used to come and pick up and drop the child from my uh, children from my house and take them back. I have no... Uh, but I mean, that relationship does not survive anymore. Now, what has happened in that time, this, this boy is a state, district and state level cyclist. He undergoes physical training, training coaching regularly and so on and so on. On uh, 19th of March 2023, all the family members, both uh, the parents as well as grandparents, everybody go for this race. There is some incident that happens and he, the son wishes to come with the father. But that does not... What happened? He, he, the son, because he has been deprived from going to the father's house for about two months, mm -hmm. he says, I want to come home with you. But uh, something does not work out, but he still goes back with the mother. Mm. Then on 2nd of April uh, 2023, after a training session, uh, where father goes to uh, visit him and see him train, etc. Mother is there. Daughter is there. The son simply says, he just go, gets into the father's car and says, I want to come back home with you. Since then, he is with the father. And despite, uh, I am instructed to state that despite... What is that? From which is the date? That is on 2nd of car. April 2023. So, and uh, now if he continues, he continues to be with you means uh, 
the contrary to the terms it is the, it, it is contrary to the original terms of the compromise i do agree but then there is sufficient material where the boy has said i do not want to go he speaks to her regularly the then uh, then this happened in april i agree then in may of 2023 an application is filed ie number 9 under section 238 of the special marriages act 12 etc seeking to vary the compromise in so far as the custody is concerned and to grant permanent custody of the children to the mother mother files that application in may that is on uh, 31st of may 2023 ia is filed then subsequently on 4th of july ia number 10 is filed to say while you are considering that in pending disposal grant me interim uh, custody of the son now that that is the, an order has been passed on that application which uh, for which interim custody means please come to the operative portion kindly malad uh, kindly see annex chair e uh, order starts at page 78 78 and the operative portion is page 89 the 78 ah the order commences from 78 operative portion is in para uh, at page 89 IA number 10 under section 38 of the special marriage act read with section 12 of the guardians of wards act uh, and uh, section 151 cpc is allowed petitioner is directed to hand over interim custody of the autistic child master rahan saran to the respondent forthwith till further orders petitioner is entitled to uh, visitation rights of his minor son rahan saran on every sunday between 10 am and 5 pm at the house of the respondent on prior intimate, intimation petitioner is entitled to video call facilities once in 3 days respondent directed this is so what was the reason for the court uh? to alter the that, that is the, my humble submission is that there is no cogent reason at all there are some legal issues which i may bring for a lot uh, ladies uh, kind attention now this matter has been disposed of under order 23 rule 3 red with section 89 and uh, section 10 of the uh, family court act so as Still, far as a child custody is concerned it it's all it all depends upon the I agree. requirement and uh, changed circumstances i agree now it, it, there has to be some formal order recalling that earlier order relating to the compromise that order has not been passed no why can't the earlier arrangement go on he has violated it there is no dispute on that no why can't as per the earlier arrangement 15 days here and 15 days with the father can mother yes my lord the uh, what is to be so the court also observes that the boy is attached to the father why only visitation i'll i'll come to that Uh, there is no dispute that the father loves the child we are not disputing that there is no dispute that the child loves the mother and the father we are not disputing that mother loves the child by being birth mother and she is a special she is trained how to handle autistic children she knows how to do my lord the compromise happened on 31 2020 as rightly stated by my friend this was during peak covid time yes at that point of time a lot visitations etc are not happening lockdowns everywhere it was all in different places people were not even aware when it when these lockdowns will go out what will be life after so <laughs> during that time people were all working from home a lot at that particular point of time the father also was working he is a very senior executive in a particular company and he is very uh, prone to travel his job requires mother is also a very senior executive my lord she is a phd holder she is also well educated well set there is no money requirements between either of these people money is not an issue for both of them it is only relating to the welfare of the child as uh, contemplated by the mother or the father it is different parenting styles 15 days 15 days used to work when the covid was going on because the child was with the father and the father was able to give 100% attention to the child subsequent to the lifting of the lockdowns subsequent to the reopening of the borders and all and when the father started working again full time during the time when the child was with the father the mother requested if you are traveling out of country you used to travel at that point of time you drop the child home we will look after the child and once you come back we will i will give it because people his the father's family also loves the child we have no doubt on that part. 
but loving a child is different from taking care of an autistic child in the way it is supposed to be taken care of my lord the disabilities act passed in 2016 man very clearly puts autism as a specified disability the intent of the act is to make the disabled persons or persons with disability independent my lord the idea is to make this child independent and to be self sufficient in his life we never know my lord who will be alive for how long the children child <laughs> have to learn how to live on it yes. the, the the parenting style my lord of the father and mother is a 180 degrees separate mother is demonstrates tough love and tries to make the child independent and self sufficient for example if the child feels thirsty mother will not get up and go give him a glass of water she will say if you feel thirsty go get your water so he should learn how to the express the feeling of thirsty i feel thirsty i want water whereas the father four people will come with glasses it is not that the question of love it's just the parenting styles that are different my lord the concept of an autistic child is very different from a regular child if the child was not autistic and 15 years my lord the guardians and wards act and even the uh, doc uh, would come into the place where the child's opinion would be considered intelligent preference and the child's opinions will be uh, honored and respected though the act says even if the child prefers the court may uh, pass orders appropriately in this case my lord the child does not have an intelligent preference. he has been tutored while the father has retained on the child on 24 he has retained so my lord after assaulting the mother in public and then taking the child away those facts have been suppressed in the uh, petition i have gone through my lord there are every line has a line if i if i need to i need to address properly with pro filing proper objections to this No, for no. that purpose my lord any time lordship will we will not yeah. will not yeah. go into all those but issues. the point here is my lord the 15 15 days is not working because of change circumstances man well, subsequent if it is not working we have to see how it works okay, okay. correct my lord kindly see my lord page number 108 of the petition itself yes the changed circumstances are mentioned very clearly in this my lord why the mother has preferred an application under section 38 and of the special marriage act my lord no one one issue that you put forth is with regard to the constant travel of the father correct ma'am first my lord is that the change is circumstances no are travel ma'am one minute will will come to constant travel is yes. one and the second thing you are saying is about the different parenting yes, kindly see